front of me, away to my right-hand side, who won hers, Nikolov, looking to make it two goals for Bulgaria. Uzbekistan picks up three gold medals this afternoon. Odil John Aslonov will be looking to try and make it four. Both of these two were at the World Championships in Belgrade. Nikolov won a couple of fights and lost a close one to Miron Chikov of Serbia. Aslonov went out to eventual gold medalist Rahim Gonzalez in what was a, a terrific fight to watch. Nikolov beat Silvio Schürrle of Germany by unanimous decision in his semi-final. Aslanov beat Alfred Comey of Italy on a split decision 4-1. It's the 73rd Stranger tournament started in 1950, the first event in what has been described as the Golden Belt Series, a 200,000 US dollar prize pot. The Golden Belt itself, the actual Golden Belt, is back in Romania, April 3rd to 9th, one of the grand old competitions of international boxing. We had the Botch Sky a couple of weeks ago. Great to see all these things rolling along again. We're in for a really busy year. I like watching these two in the World Championships. Nikolov, I thought, was a bit unlucky, maybe, against Miron Chikov of Serbia. It was a close fight. Aslonov in the blue of Uzbekistan, Nikolov of Bulgaria in the red. Aslonov will keep that high guard, and that's what he'll look to try and do. Close the gap quick, let go with hooks, tuck up, get onto the inside, and bang to the body as well. Gonzalez, Raheem Gonzalez, the American, stood with him when they fought in Belgrade. I didn't think it was a wise policy. I remember saying so at the time, but he managed to get the win. Gonzalez was in just fight after fight. Electrifying stuff on his way to gold. It really was. Nikolov will need to use that jab, that nice one-two, that right hand into the pit of the stomach there. He's got to keep Aslonov off him. If he can't, then the Uzbek, as I say, just get into range and crawl all over him. Coughing up well there. That's one off. The right hand caught by the forearms. The right hand from Nikolov. He's looking to get on that jab. That's what he has to do. The damage around the left eye there of Aslonov. Brought into the fight with him. Pretty standard in these tournaments. Again, a one-two from Nikolov, but taken on those formidable muscular levers of Odil John Aslonov. Just past the midway point of round one. Not an enormous amount clean has got through just yet. The left hand there, the third punch of that three-punch combination from Nikolov may have done. But even if they're not landing clean, he's got to keep throwing the Kolov. As one off, rolling forward, rolling forward, doubles up on the jab, looks for the right hand. The right hand counter there from the Kolov. This is warming up nicely into the final minute of round one. As Lonov was stuck behind Dilshobek Rusmatov last year in terms of the Asian Championships and the Olympic Games for Uzbekistan. Missing with the left hand there. It's not that easy to pick between these two in this opening round. As I say, clean punching in terms of punches with the knuckle part of the glove landing on the target area of the torso or the front of the side of the head haven't been all that common. There's been plenty of punching, but a lot of it has hit gloves and forearms. As Lonov has been on the front foot, that could count with our five scoring judges ringside. But Nikolov threw his share there as well. So I'd be interested to see which way that one goes. Radoslav Pantaleev in action for Bulgaria in this session as well. 
At the end of the afternoon session, we had three goals for Uzbekistan and one each for Kazakhstan, Ireland and Bulgaria. And Aslanov has got it, split scoring, no surprise. Three of the judges have gone for him, the other two have gone for Nikolov. And I think he's probably just edged it there, Aslanov, due to the fact that he was he was the more proactive of the two. And this is showing us really what we did see. He drops those forearms. Aslanov and makes himself a difficult target to hit. You can hit gloves easy, but hitting gloves doesn't count. So into the second, these two swapping jabs right at the start of the round. Aslanov looking to try and jab to the body. Trying to suck Aslanov in there on the ropes. Left hand into the chest from the Bulgarian. Aslanov again comes marauding forward. He's not reckless though, he's not really gung ho. He has his method, he does look to move that head. Stands a bit square at times, but rarely stands tall. Dips that shoulder and looks to throw that right hand over the top. It's a good contest this. Lovely combination there from Nikolov, the, the long right uppercut, the second punch of it in particular. Turn southpaw now, a minute into the second round. He's looked for that overhand right quite a bit. Aslanov hasn't really landed it, did get through with the right hand to the body. Nikolov came back with his right combination downstairs and I think he did manage to to breach that that guard of Aslanov's that time Nikolov good right hand counter there for Nikolov Aslanov opened up with a pretty expansive looking left hand short right hand down the middle again there from Nikolov he's having a good round here so far right to the body though from Aslanov but doesn't get out quite quick enough and catches a right hand as he is trying to exit He's got those counters going nicely in this second round here. The Bulgarian fighter, he's in red. That's long of Uzbekistan in blue. Split scoring in the first round. There's that uppercut again as, as Lomov comes in. He's just giving himself enough room. And then, as I say, just throwing it long, Nikolov. And as Lomov is... He is a contender for being hit with something like that because he dips that head as he comes in. Just pushing off with the heel of the glove there. The respect fighter, the home crowd don't like that. Long right hand from Azulanov, doesn't quite make it to the target. The interesting thing about him is, is that he's got some real long arms on him, Azulanov. When he throws a jab from side, when you see it from side on, you can see that he's got some serious wingspan. He just doesn't really choose to use it. Bell goes at the end of round two. We had split scoring, as I say, 3-2 in favour of Aslanov in round one. I would go red corner in that second round, which for me would even it up at a nice, neat one apiece going into the third and final round. Well, the second round, all five judges have gone the way of Odil John Aslonov, and that gives him a 20 points to 18 lead with three out of the five judges, which is crucial. So the split scoring in round one, three, two in his favour has turned out to be very important because he's now got that significant margin with three judges, and that means that Nikolov needs something massive in this second round. From what I saw from where I'm sitting here, and I'm in a good position, I thought that Nikolov counted Aslanov effectively in that second round, landed some really good shots. Aslanov was coming forward as he had been in the first round, but I thought actually it was maybe a little bit less effective. So I'd have gone the other way with that one, but that's by the by. Two judges have got it 19 apiece, which is where I'd be at. Third and final round.
He needs to be careful. He needs to be careful. The referee's having a word here with Aslanov. You don't want to be losing points in these three round fights. It's, it's a major factor, or it can be, when it happens. Aslanov just tying Mikolov up on the inside. The corners get given the scores. They know the scores. Mikolov will know. They'll have told him. He absolutely has to go out and win this round, and he needs to win it comprehensively. That could play a little bit more into Aslanov's hands, but he got stung by right hand there. He was back. He was rocked onto his heels. Nice little uppercut there, also from Mikolov. A minute into the third and final round. Just inching forward there, Aslanov sees him coming in, throws the one-two. Nice combination from Nikolov. Aslanov comes back, but Nikolov again there. Second phase, lets his hands go. It's been a good fight to watch this midway through round three. Really has. Right to the body from Aslanov. from Aslanov. Body work from Nikolov into the final minute. This is our final at light heavyweight. Christian Nikolov, Bulgaria in the red, Odil John Aslanov, Uzbekistan in the blue. Dips that head again, Aslanov, and looks for that right hand. Made a little bit more room for the right that time, as long enough, and it was more effective. Nice to just sling it in around the back of the guard. That's a good example of what I was talking about. He has got that range on him. When he looks to keep it a bit more on the outside, he can do it because, as I say, he's got long, long arms. Well, there's no way that Nikolov has won this final round 10-8. It's been a close final round. But it's Aslanov who is going to get this. He was 20 points to 18 up with three judges heading into the third and final round. And he will certainly have, have done enough. But I thoroughly enjoyed that. It was a good fight. Hard to split them in the final round. The scores being the way they were, Nikolov had to really go after it. So it's difficult to cast too much of a judgment on it in that regard. I would have had it one apiece going into the third round for what that's worth. So as Lonov gets it, the home crowd don't like it. As I said, I would have had it one apiece going into that third and final round. And it was difficult to split them. Three judges though have gone 3-0, Aslanov, one has gone 29-28, Nikolov, and the other 29-28, Aslanov, close fight, close fight, I think that maybe on balance Nikolov was a little bit hard done by there, but he was extremely keenly contested all the way through. <laughs> 